Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us learn pre-job in soft contracts. In this video, I have described the hand movements in a very slow motion, 25% that is one-fourth of the normal speed. Please watch this video and learn pre-job. After making the incisions, the side port should not be very small. It should be at least 1.5 millimeter so that the pre-job, the nuclear sustainer can go through this easily. Make a good rexis. The size of the rexis should not be less than 5 millimeter. It can be up to 5.5. Uh, beginners will find it comfortable if the rexis is on the larger size initially but be aware that you can easily do it in 5 millimeter rexis. And now this is real time. The nuclear sustainer goes through the side port, hooks the equator. The pre-chopper goes through the main port. The two instruments come to each other and we divide the nucleus into pieces in just 45 seconds. And now see in very slow motion and I will describe the hand movements. Fill off the anterior chamber nicely with viscoelastic substance and as you go in the instruments don't press the posterior all of the wounds so that the viscoelastic substance doesn't come out too much. Now here goes the nuclear sustainer through the side board. Go in this way stand vertically. Now pronate your hand little more and see the ball tip faces the equator. Go scratch the surface of the lens uh, cataract and go under the rexus margin hook the equator. Here goes the pre-chopper. Scratch the surface come near the rexus margin and in embed it stand vertically and both the instruments stand vertically and come to each other. The nucleus sustainer don't keep it slant. The beginners keep it slant and don't get a nice crack like this. So after hooking the equator, stand vertically and bring the two instruments. Both the instruments should stand vertically and come to each other. Preach off on hemineucleus. And now at this stage, you can come out, inject visco and fill up the anterior chamber and try it again to preach off the other hemineucleus. But in this case, uh, I'm doing it for five years, so I can manage in shallow uh, chamber also without causing any damage to the cornea. But I suggest you come out, fill up the entire chamber again with visco and then try. You can even crack only one heminucleus and manage. You know? But if you want, you can divide both the heminuclei. And now see, this is again a real time go and rotate the pieces. The pieces are free. They come to the tip easily. You don't have to go to periphery and catch them. You don't have to do any dangerous movements. The pre-chopper movements are safe. This new emulsification of the pieces are safe. Actually, it is safer than any other technique, stop and chop or whatever you do in soft cataracts. And now this is uh, removal of the cortex by the hand piece itself. Before you do this, you must check if the jonule is weak and if the posterior capsule is trampolining. I mean, if the posterior capsule is coming forward and going backward frequently, must watch that. If it happens, don't try this. Otherwise, you can try a little bit of uh, movement every day and one day you can be expert in removing the cortex by the hand piece itself. You can remove a part of it and just practice. And see, I didn't remove the subincisional cortex because I thought it is dangerous, becoming dangerous to do that. And fill out the visco. And now see how with the Simco you can remove this. Just go, turn it, hold and remove. The anterior chamber is filled up with visco. The Simco is not going to touch the cornea in any, any way. Fill up the anterior chamber with visco again and implant an intraocular lens. So in this video, we have seen the hand movements of the nuclear sustainer and pre-chopper very well. You can go and repeat 
and watch that portion of this video the let me describe the nucleus sustainer goes in a slant way stands vertically and then you pronate your hand more so that it turns to the equator the ball turns to the equator scratch the surface of the nucleus and go under the rex's margin and hook the equator you can rotate the nucleus just on clock hour to check if you have hooked it nicely and now stay there rock steady introduce your pre chopper through the main wound and go to the center come back near the rex's margin embed into the soft part of the nucleus both the instruments stand vertically and move to each other now and do the lateral separation so this is the technique hope you have understood the principles of pre chopper i do it in soft cataracts only i try my submarine chop technique for the hard cataracts i don't try it for uh, hard cataracts but you can watch videos of dr pankaj lande he is a master in using an ultra chopper for uh, dividing hard cataracts with ultra chopper please see videos of dr pankaj lande he is a master in ultra chopper now in this case we are done we have implanted the lens the anti chamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention of this video it will inspire you to learn the use of pre chopper and i insist on learning this technique because it is safer than any other technique